YouTube, what is up? I am Ace, and I just wanted to share with you my thoughts about the future of the smartphone. Now, I think we've hit a wall when it comes to the rectangle, the candy bar. There's just so much that you can do with the screen. I mean, sure, you got your hertz and you got your refresh rates, and then, you know, looking at the battery and how big and how fast it can charge and cameras and all that. But essentially, it's still a rectangle. Now, you've got Samsung's looking at foldable phones. Is foldables the future? You've got Oppo that's looking at rollable phones. Is rollables the future? Or is it even beyond that? Are we looking at glasses? Are we looking at something in your arm? Are we even looking at a chip implant? If Elon has anything to do with it, that's his wave of the future. So what do you say? Let's dive down this rabbit hole. Now, before we get into the future of the smartphones, first we gotta jump back a little bit in history. Now, the first smartphone, I believe was IBM back in 94, when they first put out the first smartphone. Hey Google, when was the first smartphone? 1992. Here's a summary from the website simpletexting.com. The first smartphone created by IBM was invented in 1992. Okay, so it was 1992 when IBM came out with the first smartphone. There's been Blackberries and, you know, with a QWERTY keyboard. And then Apple in 2007 releases the iPhone. And it's the rectangle um, touchscreen. Um, that, you know, became your iPod and, you know, your telephone and, you know, media consumption. However, there's not much more you can do with a rectangle, you know? Um, so where do we go from here? Now, I know Elon's been working on Neuralink, which is a chip implant for your brain. He's been, um, him and his company has been experimenting with that. Uh, I believe they put a chip in a pig um, and he was on uh, Clubhouse not too long ago talking about how they put a Neuralink chip in a monkey and the monkey was playing video games with his mind. That sounds kind of cool but that's a little too evasive. That's way far in the future. Um, a future that I'm not sure I would want to be a part of. Uh, you know, I, I have a hard enough time controlling my own thoughts and, uh, you know, following, you know, directions given to me by my wife. I don't need a third party in there trying to tell me to do something else. The next thing that you can look at is a smartphone display in your arm, on your wrist. I, I, I mean, could you see people just walking around like, oh, hey, you know, I, you know, how am I gonna, how am I gonna play Call of Duty like this? I don't, I need, you know, two hands, um, you know, and, you, oh, hi, how's it going? Oh, hey, everybody, say hi to Grandma. Oh, hey, how's it going? Yeah, I don't, I don't quite see that either. Um, we all remember Google Glasses. Uh, they didn't go over too well. I just feel that the technology for glasses wasn't really there. Now there is word around the campfire that Apple is working on Apple glasses, which I can really get into because um, I wear glasses all the time. Even contacts, could you imagine having contact lenses? You know, it'd be like, you know, remember Watch Dogs? You'd be playing Watch Dogs and you could just see people and, and who they were and and get their information and yeah that I don't know that might not be the greatest of things I don't want to be walking down the street you know people pulling my information because I logged into Facebook one time you know five years ago um, there could be some safety issues you know you can't be you know driving along you know watching a movie uh, with your glasses, uh, but you know, seeing texts or notifications, 
uh, that could be cool. Um, of course, when that feature comes around, when you're driving, your car might be driving for you. There's Elon again. Huh. He's a smart cookie. Now, I really think that the foreseeable, foreseeable, foreseeable future is the folding phone. Samsung has come out with a couple iterations of a folding phone. A year or so ago, they had the Galaxy Fold and now they have the Galaxy Fold 2. They even have a uh, the Z Flip, which is more of a clamshell uh, type of design. Uh, the Razer, uh, they came out, uh, the Motorola, they also had a, a clamshell uh, folding phone. Folding to me means that the screen itself will fold and not break. The Microsoft Duo is, um, to me, not a folding phone. It is you know, two phones that are on a hinge that open and close like a door. It doesn't fold, it opens and it closes. With the Galaxy Folds, it has a little crease in it uh, from, you know, from other reviewers and from what I've heard is not too bad to look at. You get used to it, kind of like, you know, the notches on your phones and, you know, uh, hole cutouts and whatnot. But the mechanics behind that is, one, it's not a glass screen. It's a plastic screen or an integrated, you know, plastic glass type screen. But it, it's still really fragile. It's more fragile than glass because, you know, glass is glass and glass doesn't bend. Uh, they put warnings with the phones for their uh, Galaxy Folds. Don't use, you know, your fingernails. You know, you could damage the screen. Um, don't press too hard. And the Galaxy Fold 2 really leaped ahead. One, the design on the front of the phone, you know, they went from a, a smaller screen to almost a full screen. And you were able to do just about anything that you would do on that front screen even when you open it, um, to have that you know same experience. Uh, now the the Galaxy Fold, you know, is a chunky phone. You know, reachability wise on the outer screen, you know, it's really narrow and tall. If you can have that same experience closed as you can open, uh, you know, you have all your you know your apps and your widgets there on your front phone. If you need to do a quick text or you know, call somebody, or you, know, you just wanna you know, check a tweet or something real quick, you know, that's great. Um, and then you know, if you want to you know, do multitasking, you can you know, open the phone and you know, watch a movie, you know, be on social media, texting and, and whatnot. And you know, to me, that is the epitome of a smartphone that folds you know, having that same experience folded and opened, just a bigger screen. You have uh, like Oppo uh, working on that scrolling phone uh, to where, you know, it opens up uh, mechanically and then, you know, goes back down. But I don't, there's too many mechanical parts, um, moving parts in your day-to-day -day smartphone um, I think after a while, you know, you're gonna start having um, mechanical issues and stuff like that. So I don't really, you know, see that as the future as I do more with the folding phone. And that's just my two cents on where I think smartphones are going. For the immediate future, I do see that foldables are the way that we are going. Uh, but beyond that, it might be more of the glasses. What do you guys think? Leave me a comment down below. Let's talk about it. Drop me a like if you like this video. As always, YouTube, be safe, be kind, peace and love.